Hey up. Um, right, last week I said that I had a big announcement this week. Um, it was going to be the introduction of a new channel bike, which was supposed to have been delivered on Friday, but unfortunately there were some technical issues, so um, that's going to have to come at a later date. I don't have any time skills uh, at the moment. Now, this left me um, a little bit stuck for today's video. And then this morning there was a knock at the door, the postman delivered a package and instantly I had a solution. Now, you may recognise these motorcycle gloves. Now, just in case anybody's wondering about the uh, bike that I'm using as a review bench here, um, I just had delivered late last week a beautiful metallic black Bullet 350 DJ series uh, press bike from Royal Enfield. Uh, I'm not ready to do a review on this yet. I, ha I have been out on it. I've also, uh, Paul has been out on the back of it with me. Um, lovely bike, one or two observations to make. Really, it's, it's very similar to the classic 350 that I've got. They're basically both the same bike. Uh, there are some differences, surprisingly as well. Um, the pillion noticed a difference between the two bikes. Uh, also, I want to talk about tight engines when bikes are new because there is a noticeable difference. This bike has only just had its sort of first part running process carried out and a service. It's only got 300 miles on the clock and it was like night and day between riding this and my classic 350, which now has uh, 3000 miles on the clock. There's a big difference and I want to discuss that with people. I know I touched on it in the uh, pillion review that I did a couple of months ago, but I, I really do think that needs talking about because people often misjudge these bikes based on the test of a newish um, demonstrator or something similar. And they don't give these bikes chance. And I want to discuss that. Anyway, I'm not ready for um, sort of filming the necessary reviews on this bike yet. I am going to get onto that this week. Um, regarding the new channel bike, everything's sort of up in the air at the moment. I don't really know what's going on, but rest assured, <laughs> I'm chomping at the bit on that. I will get on with it as soon as I can. These are the uh, Gold Top Racing Stripe gloves. Um, denoted of course by the two racing stripes on them i got these i think back end of summer 2017 um you'll have, you'll have seen every video i've made just about where i was riding a bike unless i was reviewing other gloves i've had these gloves on these are the best motorcycle gloves i have ever owned now actually there's nothing wrong with them uh, they've held together really well there are no loose stitches or holes in the lining everything on these is still perfectly serviceable no issues with them whatsoever but because i was getting a new bike and my old helmet uh, was the lining was starting to fall apart i decided to invest in some new gear and paula sort of pointed out that these gloves were looking very faded and maybe it was time i got some new gloves so I had a look around and I just kept coming back to these same gloves every time. And I, I ended up ordering some more from Gold Top. Um, same gloves, updated version, have changed a little bit since uh, I got my original pair. I paid for these with my own money. This is not in any way a paid review. This time I got them in the brown leather. So let's get on with it. Now there are one or two uh, little differences between sort of now and then. Uh, originally these came with a clip so that you know, when you're not wearing your gloves and they're in storage or whatever, or even while you're carrying them around, just to make sure you don't end up only with one glove at the end of the day, you could sort of fasten them together. It's not actually a feature I've used very much. Uh, I have once or twice, but um, 
yeah, it's handy to have. What I was surprised about is that um, since I think it's about August 2017, um, the price of these gloves has only gone up by five pounds because I remember these were 50 pounds at the time, which I remember that because they were the most expensive motorcycle gloves I'd ever bought. Um, and although Gold Top have made some slight improvements to these gloves since then, yet yeah, there's only been a five pound increase in price. Um, now I'll go through that. Now I can't see any um, safety standards accreditation on these. I'm not really sure what safety standards apply to gloves. Um, but the most notable difference is get them side by side the actual protective panel at the heel of the hand here uh, now as you, as you can see on the old pair this has gone very flat I think this was just reinforced with some foam in the original gloves they've now put the material used in Knox Microlock armour in here which is a sort of a liquid plastic it's quite soft to the touch but what I'm told is and there's no way I can test this out is that in the event of an impact the liquid state tends to a solid state I'm not really sure uh, on how that works but you know this is the sales blurb that comes behind it so yeah we've got a substantial improvement there between the two gloves for a start I also notice that whereas the old strap was was plain uh, apart from the stitching they've now got the gold top uh, brass emblem in there there's still a velcro fastening um, it's not a press stud or anything uh, there's still a velcro fastening but that's just a, an embellishment uh, a trademark for the manufacturer other than that actually I noticed there's been has there been a difference We've also got a difference in the uh, sort of venting on the thumb and we've lost this pleated component that you can see here on the new gloves. They've now deleted that and just replaced it with a vented panel. Um, I, I can't say that this this pleated sort of um, thing really adds anything to the wearing experience to be honest I didn't even know it was there until I've looked just now but yeah we've got another difference there which um, is quite quite sure which I prefer to be honest yeah I mean horses for courses I think really the much there's nothing really lost by having that now, as you can see at the thumb, we've got a reinforced panel here, which has been echoed on the new one. That's just the same reinforced panel. Everything else on the palm of the glove looks the same. We've got this um, crisscross stitching across the wrist strap, which is the same as it was on the old pair. So I'll turn them over. And aesthetically from the top, as far as I can see, they'll look exactly the same. Now, that panel does look a bit wider than this one, but I'm tempted to say that's probably down to wear and tear on these. They've got wet dozens and dozens of times. Um, also, you know, the wear from wearing them is going to affect. I mean, looking at that... I don't know, I'm going to say that's down to wear and tear through me stretching it to, uh, to tighten them up around the wrist. So I'm figuring that these are both actually the same as the wear. Um, other than that, the gloves are very similar. We've got the same venting on both, uh, the same pleated knuckle reinforcements. Now, they're not, there's no padding there, although I would say because the leather is effectively doubled over, again um that is going to provide some protection to the knuckles although you know in all the years i've had these i've never had to test that 
Um, yeah, I just wanted to bring these to your attention. I, I did a review on these gloves back in the day when I got them. If I remember rightly, I think I went to uh, Squire's Biker Cafe to, to actually review them. And they've been my daily wearer ever since. Ultra comfortable glove. You know, they're reasonably small and compact. So, you know, they're not a hassle to work with, carry around and wear. Um, it's almost like wearing a pair of dress gloves, except they are a little bit, bit thicker than uh, a dress glove would be. The other thing with these is, for most jackets uh, that I have, I always have trouble with the thickness of my wrists, and I often have trouble tucking gloves underneath the, the cuff of a, a jacket. Now, uh, I know some people wear them over the cuffs, but my experience in my younger days was that when it rained, the water dripped down and went inside your gloves. So I always prefer to have the gloves tucked up inside the cuffs if I can. Um, they're, they're a perfect design. I mean, I'm sure there are other gloves out there which will be as equally as good, but of all the gloves I've ever tested, these have been the best gloves I've ever owned. Which So uh, it, it was a no-brainer when I was looking for a new pair of gloves to go for more of the same. I mean, these do need a little bit of wearing in. To go for more of the same with the brown version of the same glove. Now, I went for the brown version because a lot of the jackets that I have now, um, the colour just works with them better. Uh, and I've still got these because these are perfectly serviceable and I will still be using them. Um, I've still got these four times when the colour colour coordinate better with other gloves so yeah I thought I would just touch base on that because you know for something I've changed jackets over the years I've changed helmets but I've always stuck to these same gloves because they're just so comfortable uh, and so perfect for the kind of riding that I do especially on a modern classic I mean it's a no-brainer really you know as I said, they're the best gloves I've ever owned. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to breaking these in and uh, wearing them for many years to come. Now, it was my intention to do a screen capture of the original review for these gloves. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happened, but that original review seems to have disappeared. So I'll just have to wind this video up uh, running some footage on the BSA Gold Star wearing, of course, these Gold Top England race stripe gloves. I think these have become one of Gold Top's iconic glove designs. A design sort of dating back to the 1960s that has become an absolute classic. Now, the great thing about these gloves is the fleece lining keeps your hands quite warm in spring and also in autumn. I wouldn't describe them as a winter glove, but uh, I have worn them in winter when it's been dry and I've not had any trouble with them. They still keep you reasonably warm. But that venting does mean that in summer, when it's hot, you don't end up with sweaty hands. They are a perfect all-round classic motorcycle glove. Now, I've actually coveted this brown pair of, uh, for a few years, and I'm really glad that I finally pushed the button and got a pair. I did have a look this morning, um, and they seem to be out of stock, although there are still some black ones in stock. So. I will leave a link to those uh, in the video's description down below. And as I say, this is not in any way a paid video. Uh, I, ju I just ordered these from Goldtop via their website and uh, paid for them with my own money. And this old black pair, which I think has still probably got many years of life left in them, have been a big part of my life for the past um, seven years or so, so I just thought I would share them with you. Once again, thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can help me out in other ways via the PayPal donations or the super thanks button down below or of course through my Patreon page. Every little bit helps me out. Now I am of course going to be back on Friday. I'm not sure at this moment um, what I'm going to be doing. Everything is still up in the air I'm afraid regarding that new channel bike 
But either way, I will be here on Friday, so until then, please ride safely, and I'll see you soon.